you've seen on the rotaryswing.com site, I did a chipping video on how a different setup allows you to create more spin and also keeps you from hitting the ball fat. And I want to go through a step-by-step -step, uh, frame piece here so you can see two shots differently that uh, advocate, one, how the typical chip shot is taught, which we're going to start with that one first, which is right here. So you can see this is typically how the uh, chipping stroke is taught. Um, basically the ball is back in the stands, the feet are a little bit open, and there's a lot of shaft lean. And we measured this is only about 47 degrees aloft at a dress here, which is about the same loft as a pitching wedge. Most people who chip like this get really scared around the greens of sculling it and hitting it fat. And that's what I'm going to show you with the next uh, clip after this one, where you can see how you don't have to do that just by making a simple chipping setup. So first, let's just walk through this guy frame by frame. And what you're going to notice is that as I come down into impact, the handle of the club is well ahead of the uh, club head. And as I'm coming down, there's a very steep angle of attack. And I have to time this just perfectly to keep from catching the ball fat. And as you'll see here, I caught the ball pretty clean, but I'm kidding to the point where I'm going to catch it a little bit higher on the face because I'm coming down so sharply and it's very, very hard to not stick the club down on the ground. And what you're going to see happen next is that notice how much stress is on the shaft. The shaft is bent a lot. And that's actually de-lofted the club even more dynamically through impact just because of this typically taught tipping setup to have the ball way back in your stance, have a lot of shaft lean, and come down the ball really sharply. You'll also notice that as I go through the next clip with the proper setup, the way that we teach on the website, that the ball's going to come out a lot lower with a lot more spin. You'll notice this ball's going to pop up in the air pretty quick. And that's typical because instead of getting the blade to slide under the ball, which allows you to put more spin on it as there's more loft added dynamically through impact, this one is actually de-lofting through impact. And the further you hit behind the ball, the worse that's going to be. So now let's look at the opposite. So now here's the chipping setup that I advocate on the website. You notice the ball is more up in the stance, more off the left instep, and the shaft is much more vertical. So I haven't taken that 60 degree loft that I had at address and gotten rid of a lot of it. I have about the same, I have about 58 degrees of loft here versus 48 before. So I might as well be chipping with a pitching wedge earlier. Now what you're going to notice is a big difference. My hands are still ahead of the club head, but not nearly as much. And you'll notice how much more shallow I'm coming into the ball, whereas before the club head was well off the ground. Now it's coming in much more shallow. And notice now that I've before the club even bottoms out, the ball's up in the air, which is this is the whole one of the big points of this chipping setup, the reason I teach it this way, is so that you don't ever worry about hitting it fat. And you'll notice that the club just glides right through the top of the grass. It doesn't take a big divot, it doesn't come down steep. There's no stress on the shaft that's de-lofting it because I'm creating a very wide U-shaped bottom of my swing arc versus a very steep uh, swing arc that's dictated by your setup position when you set up with the shaft leaning well toward the target. So just by making this one simple setup change, you can see the ball comes out. You can see the logo rotating here quite a bit. It's moving a lot more, and it's coming out lower. And that's how you see the tour pros hit these chip shots off these tight lies with a lot of spin, and they come out really, really low. It's a sexy shot, and you want to learn how to do it. Just go to the website, click on the link in the article in the description below, and you'll learn exactly how to hit this shot, not just the setup, but the technique of learning how to hit this chip shot as well.